Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see what I think is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Yes, this is this little Makeup Revolutions Conceal and Define and I will be showing you in this video how I apply both concealers under my eyes, one under each eye, and then I'll be showing you a picture of seven hours later how they wear and we'll find out if this little guy is a dupe for this. And here they are on the Ulta website. Here is a look at the Tarte Shape Tape. It had 9,600 reviews at almost five stars each, and the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer had almost 1,000 reviews at five stars. But I really think if you're a bargain hunter, this could be a wonderful new find for you. And if you're in your second half and you're interested in all things anti-aging and possibly great bargains, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my future videos. Now to get this makeup wear test started, I'll come back in just a moment with just foundation and my upper eyes done and we'll apply both products. Okay, first we'll use the Tarte Shape Tape and I'll be using it on this side. And this is actually the side where I have my Mohs incision, so it's got a little extra work to do. And again, this is a $27 concealer. It's only available at Ulta. Look at that wonderful huge doe foot. It's probably like an elephant foot. Not sure it's really a doe foot. It's very nice and large. And you just dab it on like this. And the Tarte Shape Tape people say that this concealer sells one every 12 seconds all around the world, which is truly amazing. And the reviews on Ulta are fabulous, and you can see them there. Almost completely five-star reviews. And if you do want a full coverage concealer, this is a great one. And I have actually been using this about the whole time I've been on YouTube. I'm always trying to find, I think I went a little heavy on this, but I'm always trying to find a good dupe that is a lot less expensive. And there's a Maybelline product, I think it's called the Fit Me Concealer. That's pretty good, but it really doesn't match the coverage that you get from the Tarte Shape Tape. There's a reason that it is so highly rated. And another advantage to this is that it does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles, which I have certainly experienced to be the case. So there is the Tarte Shape Tape. Now, here's the Makeup Revolutions Concealer, and I'll begin by saying that comparing this $7 concealer to the Tarte Shape Tape 27 is a little bit misleading because the Tarte Shape Tape is 0.33 ounces, and this is only 0.11 ounces. The Makeup Revolutions people, though, do have a supersized version of this concealer that is roughly the same size as this one, and it is only $10, so it is still quite a savings over the $27. Let's go ahead and open that up, and again, it has the huge doe foot. And I'll go ahead and dot that on here. Probably went a little too heavy on that too. Both of these are buildable and you really should build them up more slowly than I did just then. Then we're going to go ahead and tap that on. I'm using the Sigma foundation brush to tap that on. I like that brush. And actually the coverage on the Makeup Revolutions is really flawless, absolutely beautiful. Again, this is the Makeup Revolutions and this is the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, then I'll go in and powder both sides with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, which I absolutely love this. It is a great way to set that concealer, which you really do need to do. And I have noticed that the Secret Brightening Powder does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles. There we go. And always get your concealer in these dark areas that we all tend to have. Okay, those are those two concealers. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish the under eye portion of my eyeshadow. And this is the Too Faced Naturals palette, which I've really been enjoying. I'll just go in under each eye with a little bit of this darkest color here as a liner. Which is very dark. Then I'll apply my mascara off camera. Okay, now I have my eyes on and I use the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, which is one of my favorites. Okay, let's go ahead and apply a little blush. And again, this is one of my favorites. It's the Chanel Joux Contrast Blush in the color Rose Ecran. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's probably something French and I'm saying it wrong. I'm probably massacring it. But I just think it goes on nice and smoothly and uh, has a nice radiant color. And as we get to be a little more grown up and things start to fall a bit, it's always important to keep your blush above the bottom of your nose. So you're just going to concentrate right above the nose there on that highest cheekbone part of the cheek. So there's the blush. 
Now I'm going to finish with some lipstick and the YSL people kindly sent this to me. This is in their Satiny Radiance collection and I have to say it is a color that I'm a little bit afraid of. So this may not be the most perfect color for me. We will see. It almost looks like a little bit of a neon orange, which I don't know why I ordered this from them. We will see. Whoa, this is not my color, ladies. Okay, there we go. I'll show it to you. I will say, though, it comes in a full range of colors, and so I may have just chosen the wrong color for me, but the formula on the lips is very, very smooth and wonderful. I do like the way it feels on my lips. Very, very moist, not matte and dry at all. Absolutely smooth, satiny, and radiant, as they say. But I do have to say that this is far from my color, so I'm going to change it out. Well, I'm back to my pillow talk, but I will say if you're interested in some wild colors for the holidays, that YSL lipstick felt very nice, and I'll post a link below. Okay, let's get back to our wear test of the Tarte Shape Tape versus the Makeup Revolutions Conceal and Define. Here is a picture of me after seven hours of wear, about 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and as you can see, there is really no difference. Both of the foundations are still on. They're not flaking off. They're not settling into fine lines and wrinkles. And I will say that I wore the Makeup Revolutions about four days last week. Absolutely loved it. Really couldn't tell a difference between the Tarte Shape Tape and the Makeup Revolutions. But I will say if you're going to buy this, I would buy it in the Super Size because it's only $10 and you get a lot more. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in making your second half the best half, whether that's anti-aging skincare, good makeup tips, or just all around great attitude adjustments, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my future videos. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been pulling from these Power Thoughts cards by Louise Hay. And amazingly enough, I kept taking them out as I used them, and I have only one card left. And I feel like as this is the last card left, maybe we should pay special attention to this. I have no idea what it says, so here it goes. Ooh, I love this. There is no blame. There is no blame. Absolutely love this. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We're all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge, and awareness we have. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card. There is no blame. And you know, this applies to me so much right now because I am 60 years old and I have finally realized that in the first half, I didn't really maximize everything that I could. I sort of did the best that I could, but my best was not very good at times. And I realized that I really do have limited days on this earth. I am starting to make a set of goals for ages 60 to 80. And if you'd like to hear about that process, please subscribe. But at first, when I realized that I'd squandered some of my earlier years, I was really blaming myself and thinking, why didn't I wake up to the value of life? But you know, I think that's the way God wants it. I think as we're learning and growing and as we're younger, we all have to learn these things for ourselves. And some people are super smart and super quick and they learn all of these wonderful things in their 20s. And for some people, it takes till 60 to learn these things. But friends, we just need to stop blaming ourselves because at each given stage, we're doing the best we can. And even in the second half, we still have a life left. So let's not blame ourselves. Let's rejoice and accept ourselves and do the best we can because the second half can be glorious. Take care. See you next time.